so my name is aditya shrivastava and i am here with my fellow friends rupak rohan and arjun uh, with our project blockchain based land registry system which we have done under the guidance of our mentor ajit kumar shetoli sir uh, rupak on to the next slide please so these are the contents of our project uh, we include introduction motivation and many others so before moving on on to the real project i want to give you just a slight introduction of the well known technology that is the blockchain so black blockchain is kind of immutable uh, set of ledgers uh, which helps us track assets in business or any other chain so uh, secondly these blockchain records are held in, held on a distributed ledger system or dlt every record in the dlt is kept in several locations making it difficult to alter alter as a result blockchain is extremely secure and difficult to attack that uh, that is immutable basically and so it is hack proof as well as other uh, third party inter uh, it is also uh, you know uh, immutable from other uh, any third party in, uh, interferences as well so the fact that blockchain is decentralized is the next feature a substantial portion of the internet is centralized which means all the data is stored in one location the term decentralized refers to the data that is stored on a network one disadvantage of a centralized system is that it if it is hacked all the data is exposed at the same time next slide please so the motivation behind this project so if you talk about the real motivation uh, during the covid times the the one sector which was uh, you know uh, worstly affected was uh, of this land registration system like the people cannot go to, uh, go on the original site and see the how, uh, what the land is about and so it was a difficult process for uh, one to complete so generally a piece of land has a significant monetary worth this maintaining track of its ownership and all connected paperwork is a difficult process to complete as of now the majority of work is being done physically because it is done entirely by hand there are several loopholes thus putting it online via secure record keeping method that overcomes all of the loopholes utilizing a blockchain based system is necessary that's why we have proposed a blockchain based land registry system in which uh, one can uh, sit at home and book uh, book their land or you can say uh, buy land or sell land uh, through our uh, d app that is a decentralized app yeah so uh, now we'll move on to the problem definition as you can uh, as aditya said we are proposing a very easy to use blockchain based system which will be uh, what we say the ui will the ui would be and easy to use and then it will also significantly uh, reduce all the uh, dis uh, what we say all the disadvantages which are, we are facing currently which are like uh, related to the paperwork and all so basically this is our uh, this is the problem definition we are aiming for so the objectives of project the objectives of project are as you can see uh, related to the large involvement of third party in this procedure the cost also increases so basically to make it a simple and uh, a process which is available to all yeah so as you can see uh, it, the duration related to the whole process also takes a, a long amount of time that is 2 to 3 months so we are also uh, considerably reducing the uh, time which is uh, required for this whole approach and then uh, the last objective is that to uh, minimize the human human interaction which also uh, thus reduce reduces the number of mistakes and so it makes the process easier yeah so now the literature survey yeah so this is the literature survey so here we have used uh, first paper is blockchain based land registry, land registry system using the ethereum blockchain here in this paper they have proposed an easy way of making this whole registration process uh, easy using a blockchain the next paper is the uh, smart contract definition for land registry in blockchain then here in this paper they have basically focused more on the maintenance of the records and also importance of smart contracts uh, while making this whole system then the next paper is a secured land registration framework on blockchain here they have uh, mainly focused on the ethereum part in implementing this system then the last paper which i have referred is uh, blockchain land record management system in pakistan so here uh, pakistan is a basically a developing country where these issues are on a uh, high rise so basically they have proposed a system which would be suitable for their uh, local environment <coughs> then we have the existing system which is currently in use 
here as i said is a long time consuming process and a lot of third parties involvement so the process which we have proposed is an easy to use process using blockchain here as you can see we have a decentralized app as the user interface then we have separate logins for the a government official would be there to verify all the documents related to the transfer of ownership and then we have separate logins for the old owner means basically who has to sell his property and the new owner who is who will will take the ownership of the new of his land we have logins for them and basically if any third any other person who has to use the system then he would attend a membership and all these records will be stored in the genesis list which would be the uh, which would be basically the uh, block of blockchain so rupak uh, please off move on to the uml diagram so here you can see this is the uh, our deployment diagram here you can see the our device is computer which contains the dapp which contains the dapp and the execution environment consists all the registry contracts as well as all the manager contracts and then uh, the computer is uh, and then uh, further going the, there is a uh, validation protocol uh, in which a government officer might be sitting there for verification of all the legal documents that are being submitted he can verify all the documents and uh, give us a fair decision on how the uh, land should be sold and uh, and it will be good for the buyer as well so okay uh, so those are all the uh, uml diagrams as you can see so functionalities and non functionality so first of all all the non uh, of all different types of non functional requirements are as follows performance here basically uh, the all the non functional requirements are as performance reliability security data integrity as well as usability so if blockchain is included then security is the first non functional requirement and it is a very important feature and reliability after security it comes to reliability like how how the system is reliable for the use of other users then uh, uh, for then second uh, then the third one is performance like uh, how the system is performing how well the system is performing or there are any so the functional requirements are authorization levels these basically look over the various system access levels and decide who can uh, create information there then there is the database so functional requirements are all the technical requirements that is the database the authentication functions the historical data or you can also say the data sets in which all the uh, information about uh, everyone like the customers the land uh, you can say the rate of the lands are being done so we have collected a few data sets based on that on to the next slide please so np theory so our problem that is the uh, land uh, land registry system it comes under the uh, np hard category since it requires solving two optimization problems both of which are np hard a problem is np hard if an algorithm for solving it can be translated into one for solving any np problem that is uh, if there is some problem then the np uh, np hard algorithm uh, uh, then the it is considered to be np hard if some another algorithm uh, can be stated to help it therefore np hard means at least as hard as any np problem although it might be in fact be harder the two major non deterministic problems which we have to optimize are transaction sizes uh, that is the knapsack and transaction conflict that is the maximum independent set problem both of which are np hard and the next uh, and the lstm and gnma are used to solve it so uh, pro in project risk and risk prioritization like what are the risks in this project so uh, the first risk is while the blockchain technology promises to drive efficiency or reduce cost in each of the use cases the blockchain as well as smart contracts including the business logic have certain inherent risks these risks can be broadly classified under three categories that is the, that are the standard risks value transfer risks and the smart contract risks so the smart contract risks that uh, like uh, you can say uh, uh, it can be a technical problem uh, which we can solve with uh, Uh, here and uh, it is of the most uh, like the highest prioritization is given to the smart contract this the smart contract is mainly based on legal liabilities contract enforcement business regulatory and information security so legal liabilities include uh, so legal li uh, liabilities include the vital assets of a contract Uh, legal liability. If somehow the legal liabilities on a network or on a blockchain leave it, 
leave the blockchain somehow leave the blockchain then it can be dangerous for both the seller and the buyer of the land since the personal information will get on uh, can get into the wrong hands uh, then there is contract enforcement currently there is no legal precedent around the enforcement of a smart contract in lieu of a physical contract as the data on a blockchain framework is immutable care should be taken to amend smart contracts to avoid breaches of a reg existing regulations then there is information security the biggest risk with blockchain yes, framework Adi is mentioned yes ma'am already time is uh, exceed uh, can you please uh, uh, okay ma'am no ma i have it in 2 minutes yeah yes ma'am just only four slides are remaining yes ma'am okay so uh, the fourth uh, fourth risk is business regulatory the smart contracts within the network should adhere to business legal arrangements and comply with the regulations and then this is the, and then there is the flow chart so uh, here i will summarize like how the, how our uh, project will work so first of all start and uh, uh, the second step includes the users registration to the platform like the deep app which you are proposing so first the buyer uh, or the and both the seller will come on to a specific blockchain and then the seller uploads the property pictures and the buyer requests to process the property and then uh, if the request is approved by the seller then uh, he he submits the land papers and it gets uh, no, and it get inspected by the land inspector or the government officer uh, which will verify all the lands and validate with whether it is correct or not and then uh, if if the uh, you can if the uh, land papers are good and they are uh, like valid uh, and they are successfully validated and if uh, if if there is no problem then the registry uh, then the land registration done and there is a deal between the uh, you can say seller and the buyer and if no then the buyer gets notified that your papers are wrong and offer algorithms on to the algorithms please yeah so uh, while registering on to a land uh, the first uh, there is not only like selling and buying like uh, some seller puts uh, a piece of land and then some buyer uh, buys it Uh, we we are uh, including different algorithms of will like some if someone wants to prepare a will uh, for someone then uh, this is the algorithm of will if someone wants to gift or swap some land then this uh, then the uh, as you can see the algorithm for swap function is here on to the next slide please and uh, uh, the main uh, problem which we faced was uh, of an apartment like uh, when someone uh, register for a land uh, for an apartment there are many flats in an apartment so what we did we divided those flats and gave them uh, a certain a certain kind of token which is the uh, you can say hsa 256 encrypted number which will help uh, for this uh, uh, which will help in selling of the apartment flats uh, which is considered to be one uh, on to the next slide please so this is our data flow diagram since we are short on time uh, i am explaining it in uh, short i am explaining it in short so uh, first of all uh, uh, the uh, seller enters the data of the land then it gets verified by the uh, land inspector and if it is correct then the buyer will buy it so this is the whole summary of the dft diagram if i explain it it will be long time so conclusion on to the conclusion yeah so we have presented a smooth user friendly platform that may be utilized to make land registration simple problem like third party participation time in delays and so on on are all overcome making the land registration procedure paperless would not only make it easier but it will also protect the paperwork of the property ownership for numerous calamities as a result utilizing blockchain to retain land record transaction is the best option to generate immutable records that can't be tampered with or changed by anyone else on to the future scope please so yeah uh, rupak please can you yeah so if this project is done and the land this whole land management procedure it will be it will be performed very efficiently and while also minimizing the time span and also as we are using blockchain it's uh, obviously more secure and whether it be any sort of property if we uh, adopt it in a step by step process uh, and if it works smoothly this will basically change this whole land registry system thank you uh, thank you all uh, we are done yes is there any question from session sir sir yes any any provision for title search in this 
provision for title sir uh, actually i am not getting your question provision for title search means In how case. can one search our platform uh, like that yes correct that's right because the major issue which one faces in the this type of property or land dealing is um later on somebody comes and claims that i am also a <laughs> shareholder of this property from my forefathers or grand great great ah, yeah yeah okay so, so what what about that uh, how would that be checked how would i know if the original so, uh, document is automatic or authentic ha uh, yeah yeah sometimes the original Uh, so uh, there is a uh, so we will give uh, well, uh, the users uh, of the d uh, app will get a specific code that is highly encrypted so if someone uh, claims that uh, this is my land how can you send this land so uh, there are two parts of this problem first of all if there is some other owner then he will have a share of land so if uh, if somehow it gets uh, notified by the land inspector secondly uh, the users will get a encrypted sh256 code uh, or you can say a user id which will uh, which will contain all the data of the uh, uh, you can say the seller of the land so uh, somehow if there are two or more uh, owners of the land then he can uh, directly claim all the data to himself and then sell it and then uh, uh, put request for them okay very good that's all from my side very good presentation good luck to you all thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you sir thank you sir thank you all of you uh, we really appreciate your hard work and wish you a great future ahead